I wanted to do this video because no one seems to explain on YouTube how to wire a cooler and do the control circuit and all the power for the uh, transfer switch. So we got a cooler, 20 kilowatt standby generator. It's for residential or small commercial, 100 amp breaker out. On the side here, these are your control wires. So I need four control wires. There's four control wires, there's two pair, and then the strand for your generator ground. You hook this up on one side to your ground and then leave it back wrapped around the cable on the other side. You do not hook it up on both sides. But and then you know you have your two hots and stuff for the breaker coming in. What's important is you have to run two separate pipes, one for your power and then one for your control circuit. They have to be separated so there's no interference. Um, right by the generator, you have a flexible, um, non-metallic going into the generator. And then we'll go to the transfer switch. Over at the transfer switch side, we got the meter, 200 amp transfer switch. So we had to rewire it. The panel used to be powered by in here. There was a conduit going and going straight into the panel, powering the panel. But we had to rewire it from the meter to the top side of the transfer switch here. You've got your two hots, and then your neutral, then your ground come down here. And on your generator side, it's the, the two lugs out front of the generator. You got your two hots, a ground and a neutral. And then these back two are your customer's load, which is also 200 amp wire. And the transfer switch switches from generator side to the customer load side. And this is always the source coming from the meter. You gotta remember when you pull your generator wires, you're pulling two hots, a ground, a neutral, and then a 120 volt circuit neutral ground hot going to this 15 amp breaker that's what charges your battery in your generator um, when it's not running and it's just sitting there um, you can see the lights that are on in the panel in here and you got your four control wires and then this we have connected down here to the ground if you can see it back in here only on this side on the other side it's not connected you can see our four connectors there our four conductors and if you look on this print right here that the transfer switch comes with it shows on here them four conductors getting landed on a b power and common as long as you match the colors up on the generator side and in the transfer switch side it'll work fine it doesn't really matter what color you use but we're going to do a little test on it see if it works if we shut the utility power off the generator is going to read no power and it should start automatically after a second the transfer switch there it already went the transfer switch switched over to the generator side. As you can see, the power is back on up here on this light. If we simulate, the power comes back on. It takes about a minute, but it will eventually turn the generator back off and then go back to utility power.